supporting lots of residents through a time of COVID was devastating, um, especially within our care home and I know many care homes across the country. Um, but if we can make sure that vaccines are at the forefront, not just for the residents, but for the staff and any persons that are coming into our, our home, um, for the ones we are looking after, after it's so important that they have that defence. Um, well, it's, it's a time of the year now. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you could be ill. Mm -hmm. I did once, not here. I was up bed, in bed for five days. What I was couldn't speak or nothing. It doesn't mean to say you get rid of it. You're bound to get some. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm safe enough. <laughs> Obviously, that you get your tender arm. It's no different to the flu jab. If you have your flu jab, you can have some cold-like symptoms. Um, and, and feel a bit groggy for a couple of days, but it's nothing that makes you bed bound and, and you can't walk um, and you can't go on to do your daily activities. Um, in terms of have the residents having the vaccines, the choice is always given there. The choice is given to the residents, to the staff, um, relatives as well. Obviously, we're very aware that not everyone has that full capacity to be able to make that decision. So there are procedures in place of best interest um, and lots of discussions with the health professionals that take care of that person as well. Well, I at first I used to be a bit clinical, but I've had them quite a few times, injections, mm. and they've been fine. Mm. There's only, I think, one that I just felt a bit, little bit queasy, but it comes to nothing, and I've never worried. So I've had nothing go wrong with them. Mm. They've been fine. It's, it, it's a good feeling to know that if you're having your vaccines, you're protecting not only the people you're looking after, but generally everyone around you, but mainly yourself.